Welcome to Sethcraft. For the past couple of months, I have been using the Xtool D1 Pro Laser, and I've got it inside of this Otour Universal Enclosure. And so inside of this enclosure, it's got a little fan, and it pipes the fumes out of this little gray tube. And so what I did was just open my window, stick that out there, and I used a piece of cardboard and just kind of blocked that hole off in the window, and it's worked well. But now that the bugs are out in spring, I'm having issues with them finding their way in through the cracks and it's being kind of annoying. So what I would like to do is bring you along for a full build or concept design of a universal exhaust tube holding window pass through unit. <laughs> we'll come up with a better name as I um, finish designing this thing. But what I want to do is use a... Yeah, quarter inch Baltic birch plywood and uh, basically cut out a hole for that exhaust tube that is adjustable or removable and on the other end we'll have a sliding piece that will fit the width of the window and that way if you download these files or if you buy the piece once I get it for sale then you can adjust it to fit your window as well so all right let's go over here to the computer and start working in light burn and then we will hop on the laser and see this thing cut out and hopefully come to fruition. There are two measurements I think I'm going to need here. The first one is this pipe. So I've got some calipers here. Now, warning, I am weird, so I'm gonna be using both the metric and imperial for this. So let's say we need to have this hole at about 80, let's say 83 millimeters. All right, we'll give that a try. And then also, I need to have my window size. So it definitely has to fit within 30 inches. I'm just learning Lightburn, so I'm not gonna do a real-time tutorial here with you. I'm going to design this with the screen recorder. I'll show that to you and do a voiceover as I am building, and we will uh, cut out the first prototype and see how well that works. So. Let me jump onto Lightburn and start designing. It took me some time to figure out what I was trying to accomplish, but I think I have a design ready to do my first prototype here with a laser. So let's set up the plywood, get the laser focused, and then push start to see if this first iteration is going to work. Okay, the piece I'm working with is Baltic birch plywood, quarter inch thick, and it is 20 inches long. Let's go ahead and place this down here. So I know that what I'm gonna be working with is approximately 15 and a half, almost 16 inches. So I want to bring my base piece out here a little bit, move the laser over to its almost maximum position, which is about right there. And I can then, uh, well, first of all, I need to kick the kickstand down and then do a focus. So. Let's drop that so that it touches. I can pull that back up. All right. So let's move this over to where it's able to cut, which is about right there. And then if we move this over here to this side, hopefully it has enough space to reach over there. So we'll do a frame real quick to make sure all of this is uh, proper. So let's move this over. Turn the laser on. All right, line that up there. Let's see how square we are. Almost, did pretty good on that. All right, 
Let me go over here and do a frame to see how well we did here. Excellent news. We are within the boundaries here of the laser. I'm going to turn on the enclosure light. Also turn on air assist. Go ahead and get this closed up real quick. All right, let's go ahead and get our exhaust tube out the window. This is what we are trying to fix up here. But as you can see, it's not ideal to have this piece of cardboard. But for now, that is going to work. All right, always wear your safety goggles whenever working with the laser. I'm gonna go ahead and run this cutout at a speed of five and a power of 80. I'm doing two passes on this quarter inch Baltic British plywood and that should get the results we need. All right, the laser just finished up here. Now this is my first time to use the legs on the X-Tool D1 Pro, and I think they may have a little bit of a focusing issue. We'll see. Yeah, there's a few spots that have a little bit more charring or burning than others. Let's turn that off. Ah. Yeah, so this piece right here didn't cut through all the way. May have been some imperfections in the wood, but let me use a knife real quick and cut that out. I just popped out all of these pieces and I think it's gonna work out really well. So here is my concept. I've got uh, these tabs right here and right here and then the top up here and here. And so there's a quarter inch between each. So now I can push these into here. Hopefully you see where I'm going with all this. Okay, and then over here on this side, it's got the other part of the half circle. Okay, so this piece here is now going to slip into that. So basically you would put your uh, exhaust pipe right there, and then this piece goes on the other side, and then that's what's gonna go against your window. And then over here on this side, we still have to cut our longer piece and it will slide a little bit. So I think in the future, I need to make this back piece longer so that this sliding piece has more option than just this couple of inches here. So, but looking good so far, I like it. Um, so I have that much room to work with that I could make the back that much longer, um, but I'd have to do multi-pass, um, take this piece out and cut that again because this piece I'm thinking about needs to be here to be able to fit in the window. So I'm gonna be a couple inches shy of having this fit my window properly because this bottom piece wasn't long enough, um, but it's getting late. So I may just go ahead and wrap this up. Let's see what I need to cut this to before I glue everything together. Looks like 101 millimeters ought to do it on that. I have the X-Tool D1 Pro and it's just the regular base, so I don't have the extended version. So I can't cut out the full length 20 inch piece here, but I can put this little uh, four inch block right here. And I'm probably just gonna use the skill saw over here to get this cut or the miter saw.
All right, it is 12.45 in the morning, so I am just going to consider this thing to be glued enough for our test. Normally I would give this much longer, like maybe, I don't know, a couple hours, but I wanna get this video up for you tomorrow. So let's go ahead and see if our pieces are going to work. So this right here should slide into here. Very cool. And that will basically clamp down over our pipe. I think these pieces could be a little longer, maybe, I don't know, another inch. And then this, hopefully, will fit into this side right here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it's gonna work. Very cool. All right, let's head over to the window and see if this design is any good. I haven't tried this out yet, so we will give this an attempt together. All right, so that needs to fit over there, which it does seem to. And then this, I think we need to put this piece in here first. And let's see, this side I think was fitting a little better. There we go. All right, so that's going to slide back over there. And then this, hopefully, will slide into here. It's a real close fit, but it is going to work there. All right, and let's see how well the window would close down. <laughs> cool, I like that a lot. Considering it's my first attempt, I think it has turned out pretty good. So a piece of weather strip would need to be put on top of this right in here and also this right in here to keep bugs and such out. And probably worth putting it on the bottom as well. I also think it would be worth having those tabs longer as was mentioned before. But uh, yeah, it seems to hug that pipe pretty good in there. And uh, let's see, so yeah, I think maybe uh, a foam piece that's half inch would uh, hold that down pretty good. And then if you move over here, it wasn't quite long enough to get to the end of the window. I have set the deadline for this video to go live tomorrow morning, which means I have got to start editing. So I think I'm going to stop with this iteration. The next version that I build without you is going to have this piece further back by two or three inches. And that will let me have a, another two or three inches back here. And that will slide to fit different window sizes. Um, so I think right now it is going to do quite well being able to clamp down on this hose. And I definitely will want to extend those two little tabs on the other side over here as well. And then put a piece of weather strip up there to close everything down. Now it's not waterproof. You would want to either put some polyurethane on there or just bring it in every time you're done. Um, so to bring that back in, it was pretty simple. Lift the window up, pull this forward, and that comes loose. The other piece also comes loose there. Um, so I'm thinking whenever this is over here another couple inches, you can then slide this to adjust that, give you, you know, an adjustability by, I'm hoping maybe a 24 inch window versus a 30 inch. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts on this quick do it yourself uh, project for getting the exhaust hose through a window. That right there is a lot better than using a piece of cardboard. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft channel. If you want to check out this, at some point I will have links to this file in the description. It may take me a couple of weeks to get that up if you are just now watching this here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.